loves welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing um, some altar work um, which I know some of you have asked me to show you um, a couple of different ways that I um, do my altar work as well and this one is a little bit different because it's just really we're doing an offering um, and what we're going to be doing is some flower arranging um, right now and one is going to be for Ashun and one is going to be for my working altar so it's going to be over here and I really really love um, flower arranging I am going to um, basically show you guys what my take my my technique is into flower arranging also all the flowers that I got was at Trader Joe's this is why this video is um, featuring all Trader Joe's products um, and it's because we're trying to keep it inexpensive. I feel like a lot of people kind of treat putting flowers in their altar space kind of the same way that we treat buying uh, the ancestors like rum or, you know, really expensive like um, liquor. And it's really, you can do a lot minimally if you try and actually, you know, put in the work and actually try to look for the solutions to those type of problems. And flower arranging, like, I feel like Trader Joe's has such great prices, and you can really do a lot with, like, minimal pieces. There's, I get a lot, like, my flowers for Oshuna I always get at Trader Joe's, and it's always really inexpensive. If you go anywhere else, you're going to be paying more money. So you can keep it really low in price point, um, but also making sure everything's, like, fresh and clean and looking really, really beautiful. So this is why I'm, it's going to be featuring Trader Joe's um, flowers specifically. Um, and I'm going to show you how I do my flower arranging um, with that. I'm I was just cleansing um, my space with a little bit of setter. I cannot find my kitchen scissors. Um, I don't know where they went. They went somewhere. So I'm just going to be using regular scissors, which is going to be a little bit harder as far as cutting wise. I'm, since I'm going to be do doing two arrangements, you're going to need two vases unless you only want to do one of these. One is bigger than the other because one is going to have more than the other. So just keep that in mind. So I am going to start pulling them out and we can start with Oshun's flower arrangement and I'm going to be offering to her in her altar space these beautiful sunflowers and if you look at the price I don't know if you're going to be able to see it but this you get five which is her number for $4.99 which is almost her number <laughs> so it's a really good deal and I'm just going to put these down here and I'm going to cut the plastic down this is also something that's really super therapeutic for me. Like, I am an earth sign, so I love connecting with earth energy. I work with a lot of herbs. I work with a lot of, like, plant medicine. And so I kind of work with plants a lot. So this is very therapeutic for me in connect connecting with nature. Um, so I'm actually going to leave this plastic down here just because I'm going to use that as kind of like my barrier, like my foundation for anything that kind of falls over. At the end here, all up in your face, at the end here, I am going to cut it down pretty low. Now, if you follow the straight instructions that usually come with, like, the flowers, they say cut about an inch. Um, and, you know, you can keep them there. But I like to cut a little bit lower um, just because of the way it's going to be arranged. And because, if you see, it's just too big for the actual vase that I'm putting it in. So I do want to cut a little bit lower. So I'm going to cut, well, almost about not halfway but almost halfway and the reason for that is because not only one it stays up better but it looks more beautiful when you put it in with everything else the reason why they tell you to do it like one inch is because by the time it's been at even though like Trader Joe's does sell through their flowers daily um most like flower shops and stuff about this much this part of the um stem is already pretty kind of used up so you want to cut a fresher part so the water can it can like drink up the water a little bit more smoothly but i like to cut it a little bit lower so we're gonna do right here so it's about that high and i'm gonna check it first to see if that's a good height and i think that's a really good height actually so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the same flower to measure where else I need to cut, which is gonna be right here. 
I'm just gonna mark it, put this one back, and then finish cutting it. It's gonna go like this. And one of my other favorite things about Trader Joe's, as far as like flowers goes, is that they have fillers for literally so cheap. Their fillers tend to be, um, their assorted fillers are $2.99, um, and their larger um, fillers are $3.99 if you wanted to have like a one that's a little bit bigger. And it's kind of ridiculous because you can literally make your own arrangement for less than it would cost you at an actual flower shop. So it's kind of like amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to take this one and just mark it. I'm going to mark it a little bit less. And then we're going to start adding um, different elements to this. And I'm going to start with this. So these, I don't know if you can tell, but the sunflowers are like taking all the light, but these babies are $2.99. And they're like these really green beauties. Let me open it up for you so you can see them. But they're going to fill the space really nice. And what I was really going for um, when doing like Oshun's um, flower arrangements, which I do, like these stay good on her altar for almost like two weeks, sometimes two and a half weeks. Um, so I don't have to change them all that often, but I like to kind of think about the flowers that she would kind of see around her area, her space, so like the river, um, and kind of bringing in some of those colors, so using green, using yellow to pop that out, um, using colors that she would kind of like love to kind of be surrounded by. So these babies are super pretty. And I'm also going to be cutting these down. But they're really pretty. And they just like accent perfectly. So I'm actually going to cut these down. So this one is going to go down here. I'm just going to cut that down right there. And start manipulating the space. And let's see if that's too tall. Okay, so now because I need to cut it down a little bit more, what I'm going to do is cut the ends here. And you want to um, take the base flowers off. Because once you put it in there, if you don't do this, it's gonna, these are going to, um, over time, start decomposing in the water and they're going to kind of go bad and make the water really uh, kind of gross looking. Um, so you wanna make sure you take the base down so it stays, um, like the stem can just kind of shine on its own without any, any problems. So we're gonna take the base down. I like to put like a good amount in between each so it's looking like almost like this burst like this bush kind of thing <laughs> um and then the next thing we're gonna put hmm, i'm actually gonna put some of these in there so i also bought i'm sorry put the thing i also bought these beautiful babies and these actually don't end up blooming they just they're a filler and they're also $2.99 and I got all of these for $2.99 which is kind of ridiculous because it's, it's a lot of them um specific fillers right here you can actually reuse them because they stay good for a while um they have a really hard um stem so they do stay kind of good for a while and you can use reuse them in different ways that you can see fit like altar work is really it's honestly really beautiful if you let it be i'm just gonna kind of cut this little bit of an edge off because things that don't grow on it just start kind of rotting after sometimes so you just want to make sure you're using 
letting you know the bits that need to stay on there just stay on there anything else can get cut off okay so we're gonna put one right here there we go and I, if you guys want to see how I do some flower arranging for different um, deities, um, gods, goddesses, let me know in the comments because I they they definitely are differ depending on um, the spirit. So I can definitely do that for you guys if you want to see it. Just put one right here. Put, okay, so let's do. You just see how it's kind of looking like if you were um, at, you know, like in by like around the river and things are growing around the river and things are just looking kind of beautiful. Alright, and then we can put this one. I like to make sure the sunflowers are spread out a good amount, which is why I've I've put um, some of these in between. So they can kind of space it out a little bit. So I'm just going to give it another. Okay. And then. These three babies right here. I'm actually going to use in a bit. I'm going to use it for in a different flower. I'm actually going to take one of those other green ones that I saw. There we go. I'm going to use these because these are closed, so they have like this kind of just style to them. So I'm going to use them in the other bouquet that we're going to do. So that is it. That is the bouquet for Oshun. And this literally cost less than, basically less than like eight bucks. <laughs> it was just like really inexpensive. So... I hope that you enjoyed it. But the last touch that I'm going to give this, let me see if I where'd I put it. You're over here somewhere. Where are you? So specifically for Oshun, if there's specific crystals that I know work um, with them, I like to crystal charge their altar space. So this citrine is one that I always have on her altar space. So I'm going to actually put it in here so it could crystal charge the water. And so the water has that vibration of citrine and it just stays beautiful and good. I'm just going to slide this over here. For this bouquet, this bouquet is pretty amazing. I, it's just, listen, I just, I completely fell in love with these and I was like, I'm getting them. So we're going to be working with these gorgeous orange roses that I saw. And these are $4.99. These are um, spray roses, and they're really, really pretty. They're super, super gorgeous. And this is just going to be for my altar space, um, just because I like, again, I work a lot with, like, the earth itself, so I want to have that element in my altar space. So with the roses, because they're already um, a good amount short, I'm going to measure it down. I'm probably going to cut it to about here just to bring it down a little bit. But this is the vase that I'm going to be using, which is a little bit smaller than the other one. And I'm just going to cut that down. And I'm going to take one of the leaves off. And... I like leaving some on there because it just fluffs it up, um, but I might take it off depending on how much space we have, honestly. Okay. So, and it, this is like actually, again, it's really therapeutic. I always pretend that I'm like a florist when I do this. I'm just like, I'm in my flower shop and I am a flower arranging my altar space and it looks beautiful. And I do this, um, I wanna say, Every, again, every, like about every two weeks, I'll just get um, flowers for my altar, flowers for um, my guides, my saints. I will definitely do it as an offering as well. 
Now, for this specific um, flower arrangement, I'm going to use a um, uh, something that I didn't actually use in the last video, and that is one of my favorite herbs of all time in the universe, and that is eucalyptus, which they sell um, for $3.99. And it is one of my favorite herbs to work with specifically for healing um so when i'm doing healing work or when i'm just which is quite often i do a lot of healing work um quite often i will i like to have the energy in the space it also helps with like congestion and like breathing so anytime i'm in the altar space and i'm trying to um, meditate or connect it's just like i breathe in the eucalyptus and it's just Oh, it's magical. It's a very magical feeling. So with the eucalyptus, because it kind of comes down, as you can see, I'm really low. I'm going to measure it again. So that means I'm going to cut it. With the eucalyptus, I don't have to cut that much, but I do have to take these guys off down like a little bit. So I'm going to cut to about that much. Eucalyptus, the stem is really hard to cut and this is why I wish I had my other scissors, but I don't, so we're gonna work with it. There we go. These guys, I'm just gonna take off. And if you want to, you can save the leaves and use it, dry them out and use it in spell work. I wouldn't make a tea from this um, because these usually sit in the, like that food, uh, flower food, water, type of substance and you don't want to drink that obviously um so i wouldn't do that but you can use it in spell work itself especially if you need eucalyptus for healing work you can dry them down powder them down and use it as a herb so so we're gonna start putting these babies in let me see if i have to yeah i'm gonna take this too just to give it enough space This guy right here, I'm gonna have to take it down. Okay. And it's gonna start kind of giving it that edge that I wanna see. So, I wish you guys could smell it. It just smells so amazing. So amazing. It's almost like that same kind of feeling when you smell peppermint um, and it's just like, ah, refreshing. Eucalyptus has that same reaction from me. So, I'm gonna cut it about. Hmm. I feel like I have to cut this one too low. This one do right here. Okay. But let me take this one off. And just make sure you take out these little like tiny ones on the side because you don't want the water to kind of gunk up on you. And it's starting to look all beautiful. And I'm not even done, so I can't wait for you guys to see how it looks. So it's looking super like beautiful, but we're gonna add um, another element to this and that is the ones that we were using before just to give it a little bit of a different kind of contrast to it mm, this one might be a little bit too tall like in my altar space I, I like playing with color a little bit especially for what I'm working for like which spell I'm trying to do um because this, the moon is about to go into Scorpio, like my, I, I'm like very sacral chakra active right now. Um, and just for the work that I'm doing, especially because I'm about to do the monthly uh, community spell as well. So I want it to be um, kind of earthy in many ways. Um, so the next thing that I want to add to it. Hmm, I think I kind of want to add some baby's breath to this. And the baby's breath was $2.99. Baby's breath. 
baby's breath is actually one of the ones that I use um, as an offering to the ancestors all the time because it stays good for weeks oh my god it stays good for such a long time baby's breath is just one of the best like as far as offerings um, and altar tools that you can use baby's breath is the one so we're gonna kind of separate them a little bit because we're, again we're trying to kind of fluff it up we're trying to use different contracting um flowers to accent the actual roses which are like the main point but we're adding like that almost touch of winter snow type of feel to it with the baby's breath which are just gonna give it that like mmm kind of mood <laughs> so I'm just gonna add it And I like to kind of rotate and see, okay, this needs a little bit more juju, this needs a little bit more juju. Like, I like to kind of see where I'm going to be putting things. So we have a lot of juju on this side. So let's balance out that side. We're putting out some right here. So... That is going to be basically my altar space flower, and this is the one for Oshun. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, um, and let me know if you want to see any other um, type of like deities as far as like how I do the flower arrangements for them. Um, I can show you like how to do your mayas and stuff like that. There's like really you can play around with a lot of different things. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the Patreon and um, um, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified anytime I post a video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps you connect with nature, especially if you're um, trying to connect more with the earth element or if you had a vid in your chart but you kind of like, you know, don't work with it as much. Um, this is a really great way to build relationship with uh, flowers and understanding their energy, um, what they heal, what they do, um, what their associations are, and how you can kind of put a bouquet together specifically tailored to kind of work with um, the weeks, the upcoming weeks, which is why I picked the orange one. But I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, don't forget to subscribe and yeah.